Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third open competition of the season. How is that even possible? Thank you very much, Clypheus, for the sub. I appreciate it. 13 months. You are a VIP. Thank you so much. Thank you for competing. Thank you for the subs. Welcome to the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League. We're opening up the final competition of the regular, the final open competition of the regular season tonight. And we're gonna open it with a doozy of a team. We've got El Nuberino, the runner up of the Spike Magazine trophy with his Camry team versus me with my beautiful, elegant, wonderful Wood Elf team tonight. It's going to be the Womb Guardians versus Take the Wood. Take the bad. This competition is going to be a little bit different from the previous two competitions of the season. This is a divisional competition. There are 12 coaches in this competition. Hank the Ranger just uh, subscribed. Wow, why can't I say your name? <laughs> Hank the Ranger just subscribed. Thank you so much. Six months. Welcome back. Welcome back to the competition. Twelve teams are in this dungeon bowl. Four are going to make the cut to the top four. Two are going to advance to the blood bowl. There are two divisions. Each division is going to play round robin against each other. Division A is up first tonight. It's Take the Wood, Take the Bad versus Womb Guardians. You have Malik's Chaos Team of Tainted Cocktails. You have Nick Satan, the Spike Magazine Trophy Champion, the League Champion. He is bringing in a Nurgle team with the Nurgle Burgle Boys. You have Venger, the reigning Dungeon Bowl Champion. He's coming in with Jingles all the way. He won last year's Dungeon Bowl with an Orc team. He's going to try to do it again this year. And Artificial Bunny as well with his leveled up Underworld team a minor matter division B is going to be my blank screen how, <laughs> how wonderful is that let's try that again there we go division B <laughs> six more teams we've got newcomer Berserker Tempest with his Bonsai Legends team another underworld team this one coming in at a TV of 1000 we've said before underworld teams are fairly weak at low TV we'll see how this new coach goes he's a wild card we have two wild cards in fact in this competition Maybe he can make it work at low TV. I'm excited to see it happen. Genus Chaos returns. War Horseman with his Chaos team. He killed Belar Nyla. How dare him? Clypheus returns the Chaos Cup champion. Nehi to Nuffle is back. They are Chaos Dwarves. They will up, be up against the second newcomer to the league, Doug the Minotaur, with... My boys, my brethren, another elven team, Dark Elves. They are petting zoo players. Dead Fred with his very strong, very frightening Necro team, Pity the Ghoul. And of course, Merrick with Tracksuit Mafia, another chaos team. Hank the Ranger says Division B is awful. They're all terrible people. Clive says, I love the little thing for the elf in the intro. Did you? I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> Ventress says Division B is populated with all of Ava's excessive number of hard drives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at these rosters. First up, the home team to kick off this competition, Womb Guardians El Nuberino. He is a Kemri team coming in with an 11-man roster. <laughs> I think Kemri's kind of weak, personally. <laughs> Not so trusty patches.
You did make it home just in time. Thank you so much for the sub, and thank you for much so much for kicking off a hype train. Woohoo! Thank you very, very much for the subs. I genuinely appreciate it. I'm glad everybody's back for Blood, Blood Bowl. Man, I've been missing this game so much, and here we are for the last open competition before the Blood Bowl. Oh, I'm super excited. 12 teams! 12 teams! And we've got some new some new races we haven't seen in the league before. Such as Kemri. Now, I don't think Kemri's that great, <laughs> but but El Nuberino is that great. He's a great coach, and he might be able to make this work. Obviously, El Nuberino and Nick Satan are benching their lizard teams because they feel they're probably in a good spot TV-wise, they're probably in a good spot skill-wise, and they don't want to risk it for the Blood Bowl. Both of those coaches will be advancing to the Blood Bowl. They want to keep those teams safe and healthy, and so they're bringing in new teams tonight. An 11-man roster for El Nuberino. Oh boy, man. Uh, Kemri slash Tomb Guardians, as you might know them by. They have four Tomb Guardians they can pick up here. Jedi George 1, I'm here now. Thank you very much. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Uh, I don't know where all the voice channels went, <laughs> so I'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, four Tomb Guardians. Uh, they all have a strength of five. Those are the keys to this team. Everybody else has a skeleton except for the default Blitzer. You have the Blitzer, the number five Blitz Ra. He has the block skill, of course. You will see that there's really nothing to write home about with the Kemri team except those killer, killer Tomb Guardians with that strength of five. Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. Are, are, are you my mummy? <laughs> but I'm. <laughs> uh, he does have the Blitzer up. Before we talk about the Blitzer, look at all the Skeletons. The skeletons have a strength of three, that's pretty average. They have an abysmal AG of two. They have the AV of seven. Clivius with the eight bits, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Uh, they have an abysmal AV seven. That's, that's Elven AV, that's nothing. <laughs> he does have the Blitzer with the black skill, but those Tomb Guardians are gonna be tough to crack. I have to imagine they're gonna be pulling cage duty tonight. If you have four Tomb Guardians on the cage, that is hard to get through. The problem is this slow, slow speed, an MA of four. We'll see how El Nuberino wants to work around that. He's gonna be getting a ton of money in inducement cash tonight. Zero cheerleaders, one TRR, zero fan factor, zero coach assistance. He will be up against my team. Take the wood, take the bad. Coming in with a 12 man roster, you can see Two war dancers. Those are the only positionals on this roster. Everybody else is a lineman. You have Fatica, the level four war dancer, strip ball, dauntless, and an extra strength to boot. You have the number two war dancer has strip ball as well. The number three lineman is injured. Brought their MA down to five. Injured twice, in fact. Um, you take them both. You take them back. Wait. You take them both. You take. You take the good, you take the bad, you take the both in there, you have the facts of life. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> uh, we lost Belar Nyla, as you may have seen in that tragic, tragic in intro. Can we, can we all just take a moment of silence to reflect on the glorious career and life of Belar Nyla? But he has been replaced by the number four thrower, not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. Excuse me, Clypheus. Not so trusty patches had such had, had such an important thing to say, and you play Titanic flute? How dare you, sir? How dare you? Titanic. Everybody wants to see the Wood Elves kill that Blitzra. That's what they're here to see. Oh, I'm offended. I'm offended. Anyhow, we got two players with Fen. We've got a, a lineman with guard. We have a kicker as well. Kicker, not a bad pickup on an Elven team. Not a bad pickup on most teams. <laughs> Jedi George said, I'm personally okay if you kill my team. I bet. <laughs> I, I bet. I mean, you're in a great position. You've already qualified. Uh, if your team dies, so what? If you can kill other teams, hey, great. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> one cheerleader, three TRRs, one apothecary, five fan factor. How do the two teams play tonight? Who's to say? Jedi George has this Camry team, fairly new team, um, new to the league, or fairly new team, uh, brand new to the league. We've never seen a Camry team in the league before. Uh, again, I don't think they're all that great. But again, El Nuberino is great. So he can, he can maybe find a way to play them. Uh, if he's going to cage up and plod down the pitch, he just needs to be 
uh, cognizant of his speed and how far he's getting down the pitch. Uh, they are a slow team, but that that cage with four Tomb Guardians would be really tough to crack. Uh, conversely, take the wood, take the bad. Uh, they need to be careful. They can't be giving up hits. They've got to step back, uh, limit uh, Womb Guardians to a blitz a turn, find a way to stop that forward momentum. Uh, a Kemri team, they're not really, <laughs> they're not really ball carrier teams, like in any capacity. They're not great at running. They're certainly not great at passing. Oh, I, I hope that's me. I hope I score. Um, so once they hold on to that ball, uh, they've, they've got to hold on for dear life. So uh, if take the, take the Bad can take advantage of that, if, if the Womb Guardians, say, pull a Tomb Guardian off the cage, that's a weak point on the cage that these uh, leap strip ball war dancers can take advantage of. Uh, we might see Take the Wood, Take the Bad get more risky in this game. Take the Wood, Take the Bad has uh, traditionally, so far in this, in this season, been very, very risk averse. They've been pulling out. They've been failing dodges. They've been giving, they've been allowing their opponent to make them roll dice. Maybe we'll see that flip around. Maybe we'll see take the wood, take the bad, take more risks, make more base-to-base -base contact and force his opponent to roll dice. Who's to say? I don't even know yet. I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> but we're about to get this game underway. Uh, I will jump on Discord, talk to El Numerino, and we'll get this game underway. Oh, oh, before we do that, why don't we look at the schedule? Tonight's gonna be a double header, baby. We've got this game tonight. Take the wood, take the bat at uh, Womb Guardians. And right after this game, once it's over, we will have a minor matter at Jingles all the way. That will be Artificial Bunny's underworld team against Venger, the Dungeon Bowl, the current Dungeon Bowl champions, Orc team. That will be right after this game tonight. It's double headers all week long. I'm excited for it. I hope you are too. Let's get this game started. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, man. I, I should have done the same. <laughs> All right. What's up, man? Oh, boo! My key bindings <laughs> for Discord are not working. Uh, I, I, you know, we have another game to get through today. I don't have the time to, to debug it. I was afraid this was going to happen, but that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll play the game anyway. Uh, El Nubarino and I just wished each other good luck. We won't be able to hear his sultry, sultry voice tonight, unfortunately, but that's okay. Plenty of more El Nuberino in this competition, not just in the Dungeon Bowl, but also coming up in the Blood Bowl. We didn't even talk about this TV dis difference. This TV is like a hundred million thousand TV difference. Uh, Womb Guardians are going to get a ton of inducement uh, money or a ton of petty cash in the inducement phase tonight. What they do with it, who's to say? It's so much they could do all sorts of things. We're not doing anything. Five, <laughs> 590k in petty cash. This is illegal. Ill it's extortion is what it is. So he's got lots of choices. He's got... Uh, star players to pick from. He he can pick up a wizard. He can do all sorts of things. 
Not so trusty patches says Star Mummy. Hank the Ranger says Clypheus has never given me anything except headaches and ulcers. Me too, man. <laughs> oh, he's picking up extra team training. He's gonna pick up uh, three bribes, Hack and Ali Ali Babad, and then the extra team training. We'll see what those uh, star players are up to in just a minute. Here we are at the Supreme Court. Of course, this is this is how I know the Supreme Court to look like. There's the Womb Guardians, Kemri team, those massive Tomb Guardians, all those skelly men. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Boo! That's what the crowd's saying. You can't hear them. Oh! Of course it's a loony. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? He doesn't have a face. What is that? Yay! Look at that beautiful team. Look at that beautiful team. Nobody wants to hurt them. They're gorgeous. Here's the coin toss. If uh, take the one, take bad, wins it, they're gonna go on defense. Yes, they are. All right, let's get this game underway. Not so trusty patches, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. I will take the ball, thank you. Ninja Gloppy says, at least the skellies have backbone. Do those elves? We can't see one. That's a very good point you make. What is happening? He's got pass block. He's got block. He's got stab. Boo. He's got stab. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like him. We might have to take him out. All right, let's see. What are we going to do to start this competition off? Let's put you here. We'll put you there. Um, maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do this. Clavius, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you so much. All right, I think we're not going to go with our standard defense here. Uh, I think this Kemri team is fairly slow, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do something like this. I think we're going to do something like this. All right, that gives us more flexibility. Normally we go too deep, um, and we just try to, to screen them out and stop that run, but this gives us more flexibility. We're so much faster than him um, that if he wants to commit to a wide zone, we will capitalize on that by by kind of twisting or pivoting our line to, to enclose his cage. We'll see what he wants to do here. Hank the Ranger says, I'm actually rooting for rain instead of sweltering heat this game because I think it would be funny to try to see Camry try to pick up the ball. They're going to have a difficult time as is. Rain would make it hilarious with all that AG too. It's tough for them to pick this ball up. El Nubarino is setting up with a massive, massive line right now. He currently has a seven-man line, two back to receive. Interesting setup on offense here. I, I would have thought he'd set up the cage from the get-go, um, but he's looking to take some blocks, so you know what? More power to him. As that star player, uh, star player here, the hack, 
the loony. He's got that chainsaw, that devastating, devastating chainsaw. Probably going to be trying to take it on the Fen player. Dindiorn, the, the injured, poor injured soul. Um, let's go. Let's go here. Here's the kick. Quick snap. Womb Guardian gets a move in one adjacent square. Not so trusty. Patch said, Strength three goblin. Who's ever heard of such a thing? Womb Guardian's looking to enclose that front line. We're gonna take that free movement back toward the ball. Hank the Ranger says, still, sweltering heat is always welcome, except during my games. Good kick for taking the take the bad. We had a choice of going deep or going shallow. We went deep here. Um, it might have actually been not a bad idea to go shallow with all of his guys on the line here. We could have run back. We could have just grabbed the ball and run in for a TD, maybe. Um, a little tiny bit risky, but uh, because he has those free players on the ends. But I think we're okay with this. Moving players into position on the ball first to start this game. Three die block at the line. That's a good block on the number nine lineman. It's a stun to start the game. Uls Galiel is stunned. Clefie says, I think Ava could get their entire team back to the ball before the Camry could. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe so. Hack is up. Hack is up. Chainsaw Dindyorn. He is still not off the pitch. Two injuries. Only takes a stun to a chainsaw because he's a champion. Good block against the number 12 lineman. This is going to be a clean hit. Pow, pow! That is the line blocked down. There's still a blitz to take. As we... Oh, it's going to go to fourth foul. I think that's not a bad idea. He's only got one assist on this foul if he wants to take it. He could get more going against uh, Dindyorn. Moves Tom Cotton forward to Skelly Man. Trying to tie up players over on the left side of the pitch here. Shifts a skeleton over to the right to tie up the number seven lineman, trying to get as many marks as he can. Here comes the blitz. Two assists on this blitz. Three die blitz. It's only going to be a push. Interestingly, he pushes him to the side here. That's going to be a double dodge if he wants to get out of here. Shoring up the left side here, he was definitely going to eat that one die block from the War Dancer if he left it free. All right, so now we've got uh, we got some blocks to take. Why don't we? Um, do we want to make it a blitz? Probably blitz right off the bat. Sure, let's make it a blitz right off the bat. Left side of the pitch. Gonna get a pal here. We're gonna push him. We're gonna push him over here. We'll follow up. And 
That is a stunned skeleton. We will move, um, move down pitch. And then we will um, stand this poor sucker up. Uh, take the dodge, take the block. Let's take the block. Um, if we take the block, he'd still have the assist here. Let's not take the block. Take the block here. Um, I, it's one more guy I can't get down pitch. Let's get a guy down pitch. Let's go here. Take the one, take the bad. Moving players down this left sideline. Hank the Ranger graciously lowered the GFI failure rate from 900% to 99%. Let's, let's go, let's. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Let's go. This is a block we could take if we wanted to, but you know what? Nah. Nah, I say. That's right. That's right. Thank you for the bits. All right. One last movement. Why don't we... Um, I would love to tie you up. But let's do this instead. I think that's going to be our turn. Turn two. Back to the Womb Guardians now. I just noticed <laughs> El Nuperino when I told him I didn't have the uh, the Discord <laughs> audio set up. <laughs> I said, sorry, I won't be able to talk, but good luck. He said, yeah, same to you, except I hope your guys die. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Mid-Atlantic Mauling League has three open competitions. Anyone is able to participate and compete. The winners and the runner, uh, runners-ups, uh, runners-up, yeah, that's the plural, runners-up of each competition get invita invited. <laughs> Man, I'll figure out how to speak sometime tonight. I got two games to make it work. Get invited to the Blood Bowl. The Blood Bowl is the championship match at least four teams will be in it maybe more depending on the compos uh, on the composition of the competition three die block back at center pitch is going to be a push against the number 12 lineman clavia says all the camera you have to do is pass it forward and he was in a lot of trouble that's true uh they got to pick that ball up first <laughs> good luck Fifty seconds ago, and turn number two for the Womb Guardians. Blitz is still on the table. They're gonna go after Fatica, the level four war dancer. <gasps> How dare they? No kickback on the chainsaw. Fatica's KO'd. He's gonna be out for the drive. Goodbye, Fatica. Thirty seconds to go. El Nuberino wisely moving his players into position, taking his blocks first before he tries this risky ball pickup. Clavia says, "How many bribes does El Nuberino have? He has three. He has three. Can you believe it? Not today, though. The refs. These refs are are moral refs. They will not take these bribes tonight." Here comes the ball pickup attempt. Looks like he's going to try it with number seven. Second guessing. And that'll be it. He says, you know what? I want to protect the ball instead. Uh, we'll see if that works out for him. Oh, I mean, I got it, right? 
I got it, right? I have to. Take the two die fend block here, we'll get the pal. Now this chainsaw is gonna work against Hack. He's got the side sub skill, he gets to decide where he's gonna go. Um, let's stay put. But he is unfortunately KO'd. He'll be out of the drive, get out of here. Cheater, pumpkin eater. That's right, I said it, you're a pumpkin eater. Good dodge for the assist on the blitz. Let's do it. Uh, we use a dodge skill here. Get the pal, we'll follow up. Uh, let's put you here. Good stun. Let's do it. Let's do it. There it is. One to zero, just like that. Take the one, take the bad. Take the lead in this competition opener. They'll be on defense again. And the Ranger says good TD. Thank you. Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. And our war dancer has an opportunity to come back onto the pitch. Hack's getting sent off, but the bribe is going to be you. Oh, no! Can you believe that ref, that shady ref, took that bribe? How dare you? How dare you? I think he's still knocked out though. Yeah, he's still knocked out, but he's gonna stay alive on this drive. So he'll have an opportunity to come back on the next drive. The bribe will have to be spent again. Hank Ranger says, is he still KO'd? He is. So Womb Guardians are down a bribe. They're down to two bribes. I'm, I'm reporting this ref. I'm reporting him to the league commissioners. SP Beaver said, such moral refs. <laughs> they went through training. I thought they had this. After a whole team of goblins in the Spike Magazine trophy, I thought they were trained. They understood. After two, not one, but two sneaky gets in the Spike Magazine trophy, you thought they would have learned. You thought the training would have been effective. <laughs> Hank the Ranger says, that ref will not be working the Blood Bowl. I agree. Clive says, you only have to spend the bribe if he's on the pitch. Uh, you have to spend the bribe to keep him out, uh, even if he's not on the pitch. So, but you're, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yes, he's spent the bribe already. He doesn't have to bring him onto the pitch on the next drive. Clive says, is he not bothering to put anyone back to pick up the ball? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe he's like, you know what? You know what? Forget you. <laughs> I'm just going to beat you up. <laughs> S.P. Beaver said, I warned the commissioner not to hire Ferengi refs. All right, let's, um, let's do, let's do, let's do here. Sure. Let's see if it's a touchback. Oh, we get a free bonus turn. Get a free bonus turn. Who do we want to take down? I would love to take the one die block on you, but I think I'm a little too far for that. One, two, three, four, f five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a block on you. So let's um, let's put you here. And then let's put you here. We'll see if he wants to, we'll see if he tries to sweep in here and free up the center pitch. 
We'll take this two die blitz with the Fen player. That'll be a good knockdown. We will. Um... Oh, we will. Um... We'll stay put. That's a stun. Good stun. Um. Boy, do I just want to send him down there to get rocked? <laughs> to get rocked by a Tomb Guardian? Um, probably not, but I will put him... Now I'm going to leave him here for options. Now I'm going to put him here. That's what I'm going to do. I think we're fine with this. I could advance. In fact, I should advance. Um, let's go ahead and advance one. We'll do that. All right, turn three. Back to the Womb Guardians. They were on offense to start this game. Lost the ball in a turnover. They're going to try again here. They've got six turns to try to score in this half. Clyphe says he doesn't want the ball either, apparently. Just press. Just run past everyone and grab that ball. Uh, I mean, that's the plan. Uh, I just don't want to get... I don't want to commit to the left wide zone and then he just he just cuts me off here i have options and i'm so much faster than him that if he wants to commit if he wants to make the commitment uh then i can just counter it pretty easily two die block of the line is going to be a clean hit this is against Uls galiel the number nine lineman If I had, oh, and he's injured. If I had sidestep, um, maybe. All right, take the wood, take the bad, down a player. It's a one-man player advantage for Womb Guardians. 11 v 10 on the pitch. Clifey says, if he lets you score repeatedly, that's all the more blocks to get on that line. It's very true. <laughs> it's very true. SB Beaver says, worth it. How dare you, sir? No, it is not. It's not worth it. Think of the moral distress you would be in if you did that. Think of how hurt you would be for hurting someone else. Good block on the double injured Dindyarn. He's going to stay on the pitch, though. <laughs> Let him score six times if he left with three players. Who wins then, really? Who wins? <laughs> I mean, I win, but... <laughs> Has one more block to take on the line. He's setting up for a blitz, it looks like, on the left, perhaps? Might just be taking marks. Yes, indeed. Marking, again, marking as many players as he can. Uh, always a good sign when you're bashier than your, or always a, a fair option when you're more bashy than your opponent is. Just make them take those dodge rolls. They're going to have to fail them eventually. Here comes the Blitz against Afgros. The two-die Blitz gets a clean hit here. This is against the kicker, the poor kicker. Going to stay on the pitch, though. He's going to stay on the pitch. He's going to follow up and mark that war dancer. He says, where do you think you're going? Two die block at the line with four seconds left. It's going to be a push result against uh, Guineal, the number 12 lineman. I can pronounce these, these names just fine. Just fine. I can pronounce them just fine. Good marks. Trying to get these last movements in before the timer runs out. Well done. Turn three. Back to take the wood. Take the bad. Um, well, why not? Why not here? Why not here? I could take the one die here. Um, maybe that's what I want. Or I could take the... Yes. You know what? Let's set up a two die block on the Tomb Guardian. Why don't we do that? 
So let's go um, here. Take the two die block here. We'll get the knockdown. And we'll stay put. Good stun. And now we've got Now we've got the two die block on the tomb guardian. Let's make that a blitz. Do I want to keep him where he is? Do I want to keep him where he is? Let's, uh, sure. <laughs> SP Beaver says, last possession able would have scored by now. <laughs> Let's go here. Um, let's stand. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Dindiel, but you're there to take hits, but my boy. My buddy, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Um, let's move you. I'm kind of okay if you stay here. Let's move you back. All right, why don't we, nope, why don't we go here? Uh, three TRRs left. Um, sure. Sure, we'll spend that TRR and um, we will stay. We'll go here. I think that's it for us. All right. Fourth, or turn number four here begins for the Womb Guardians. Clive says Ava just doesn't want to score anymore. <laughs> we'll try. Oh, why did you injure Dindy? Or he was so injured already. Didn't you see his two broken legs? Two man player advantage for Womb Guardians. Oh, so rude. You brought a knife onto the pitch. How dare you? <laughs> Three die block of the line. This is going to be a good knockdown here against Tazdor, the number seven lineman. <laughs> Clifey says you better get as many points as possible before you run out of players. That's generally, generally good advice for any elf team, really. <laughs> Maybe dark elves are a little different. Uh, that AV8 really does make a difference. Is he going to GFI with a Tomb Guardian? Is he going to GFI with a Tomb Guardian? You know GFIs fail approximately, according to the rules, 900% of the time. Oh, but Clypheus just lowered the GFI failure rate from 900% to 99%. Now's the time to do it. Forty-five seconds to go for the Womb Guardians here. Going for the blitz on the war dancer, going for the high dollar figure. Here we go. Two die blitz. It's going to be a dodge push. It's going to push him forward here. He's going to try to entrap the war dancer. Not so trusty patches with the GFI alert. Oh, he's thinking about, he's thinking, of, here it is, GFI with the Tomb Guardian. Worked out, well done, well done. Here's the ball pickup, 50-50 on the ball pickup, failed the pickup. Is he going to spend the TRR here? He does not.
Well, I gotta say, um, I gotta say, I gotta say, Hail the dodge out of the gate. We're gonna spend the reroll here. Double fail dodge. That's how it goes. Boom Guardians are gonna get a bunch of hits here to start the second quarter of the game. Snake eyes on the dodge. Hank the Ranger says, GFI like an Egyptian. <laughs> My favorite song <laughs> by the Bengals. <laughs> Gonna try the Blitz stab on Fatica. Failed the stab. Still gonna get the block though, here it is. Two die block, double pow, wow! Fatica's off the pitch, probably thankfully so. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, that foul was surely coming. Three man player advantage now for Womb Guardians. <laughs> Not so trusty matches. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Rest in peace, indeed. He'll be back next drive. Don't you worry. He'll, he'll snap out of it. <laughs> do you do you love the applause for that? <laughs> Lots of blocks here to take. Here's one. It's a dodge push. Oh boy. Um. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> Clivius with the applause, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Twenty five seconds to go here for the Womb Guardians here at the start of the second quarter. Two die block's gonna be a push against the number 12 lineman. Womb Guardians with two team rerolls remaining here in the first half. This will be a good knockdown on the kicker. This is Ath Gross. He's gonna set up for a surf here. Ooh, Ath Gross is stunned. He'll be out for at least a turn. That could be a nasty foul coming his way soon. Two die block on Adil Galil. Double pals again. Well done. And a good stun. Five seconds ago, he's got a Tomb Guardian to move if he wants to. He says, Nope, I'm not letting you move Tazdor anywhere. All right. Um, I mean. I mean, the two die is not bad. The two die is not, not to bad. Um, I want to stand him up, but I want to dodge him. So let's go, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here, let's go here. Shoot. Um, I can take the two die fender. I can take it with the block skill. Who it's against the Blitzer. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe instead we do this. I 
And then we do um, Oh boy, decisions, decisions. Um, this tie-up is probably okay. Let's go here. All right, I think that's good. Do we want to stand him up or do we want to move him down? Let's move him down. Um, let's move him here. Uh, whoa. Sure. Um, we're good with that. So we left this guy down. Because uh, we wanted to dodge him out. And the Tomb Guardian's so slow anyway that... If he gets away from us, we just get back up and run down pitch. Remember, Ali Babad, he is the stab secret weapon with the weird face. Look at his face. What kind of skull is that? Trying to take out this war dancer. One of the war dancers is off the pitch. He's knocked out. Going for the stab. Here it is. Failed the stab. Stab blitz didn't work out. Just gotta try to get in front of this war dancer here. Doesn't have a lot of movement. It only has five. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Blitzer. He has six. The the skeletons themselves have five. The tomb guardians have four. SP Beaver says that elfin armor saves the day. We have the finest craftsmen in the land, in the league, really. One blitz to take. He's got some fouls. He probably. Wants to take a foul this turn. Uh, he's up. He, he's got a three-man player advantage. Why not take the foul? Um, still has a block to take on Femice. He wants to shore up this contingent down here. He doesn't want it to grab the ball. <laughs> that star player is a Stavla genius. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Clavius says, I remember I remember my very first game in the Batter Bowl, my first game in any competition, being on the receiving end of a lot of Stiplitzes. Yeah, they're, uh, they can be rough. Womb Guardians shifting to the left now. They're going to try to get some assists on a foul. Looks like they're going to try to foul the thrower here. Five seconds to go. Maybe not. Maybe he's fouling Tazdor? Nope. Two die block on Femice is going to be a good knockdown here. Eight plus breaks armor, remember. These elves only have an AV of seven. Femice is going to be stunned. Good armor break. Here comes that foul. Decent shot on this foul. When he gets a stun out of it, does not get caught off the pitch. Turn six now. For take the wood, take the bad. Um, uh, let's do the dodge. Let's do the dodge. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Another failed dodge, and he's stunned.
Another snake eyes on the dodge, and he's stunned for his trouble. You can bet he is going to be the target of a foul coming up. Turn seven now for the Wim Guardians. Doug the Minotaur says, snakes are everywhere. They are. They're in the grass. You got to be careful. If you're not careful, two of them will just pop up just like that. SP Beaver says, didn't get a break, just a stun. <laughs> A stun does break armor, but yeah. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Hank the Ranger will be fielding later this evening. <laughs> a team. Uh, well, you'll see. You'll see who he's fielding. <laughs> Is that going to be a blitz? No, not the blitz. He's going to take the block. He's got a two die block currently. Takes a two die block against Telenar. Gets a good knockdown here. Try the stab on poor Guineal. Didn't work out. That's the stab blitz. Two die block's gonna be a push. Gonna push, push him away from the ball. It says, get out of here, sir. Here comes a big old foul. He's going to take it on Femice here. Lots of assists. Only Nuffle could stop this foul from succeeding. Works out, but it's only a stun. Does not get called off the pitch. Going for the ball pickup here. 50-50. Failed the pickup. Is he going to spend the TRR here? He is. Why not? It's turn seven. Good pickup by Womb Guardians. Hang the Rangers at 97%. Yeah, it was it was really good. <laughs> really good chance. All right. Well, um Let's stand up this guy. Um can he get down the pitch is the question. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, nobody's in scoring position. So I don't care. So we'll go he uh, here. We'll go here. Stand up dodge, good dodge, and then we'll I'm gonna take this one die unskilled but fend blitz on the ball carrier. Let's go. One die block, we're gonna get a push out of it. Um let's spend the reroll. Let's spend that reroll. Let's get it. Um, we'll push you. Here, we'll just see where it bounces. We'll stay put. And that's the bounce we wanted. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go here. And let's go here. Probably okay with this. Um, we could go here. Let's see. What do we want to do with him? Um, let's go here.
You guys want to see a GFI Dodge? You want to see a GFI Dodge? Watch this. Watch this GFI Dodge right here. Look at that. Look at those shenaniganeries. Um, all right, let's, um, do we want to do that? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Hey, 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 <laughs> that'll be it. Hank Thread just says, I demand a Tomb Guardian touchdown be scored by the end of the season. Turn eight now for the Womb Guardians. Final turn of the first half for the Womb Guardians. There'll be one more turn for take the wood, take the bad. Womb Guardians have a block and a blitz to take. Looks like they're going to take the stab blitz. Here it comes. Good stab on the ball carrier. Falls into the hands of the stabber. Is he going to spend the TRR here? I can't imagine he will. Ball settles down on the six yard line. That's the blitz spent. He's got a two-die block on Telenair. Here it comes. Gets a push out of it. He's going to push Telenair to the sideline. Set up the foul on the remaining war dancer here. Got a big foul waiting back at center pitch if he wants to take that instead. Here it comes. He's looking to take the war dancer out or at least stun them. Breaking the armor. Breaks armor, gets a KO. Well done. Gets called off the pitch for it. He can bribe to keep the drive going. But he's going to get sent off. But he was the real threat here to the TD. Turn eight now for... Uh, for... Uh, take the wood, take the bat. So let's see. We need five... We can get uh, three, four, five, six. We can get a two die on this. We can get a two die to a ball pick up. And take the blitz. We're gonna, it's gonna have to be the risky ball pick up unless, no, it's gonna have to be. So let's, um, let's do it. Let's get you here. It's three, four. Um, let's get you here. Let's get you here. And then let's get you here. So I push you here. If I put you here, I only get the one die, but it's a one die fend. It's a one die fend, and then I could chain push you here, push you out. I think I want it to be a two die. Oh, I don't know what the better option is. I'm gonna make it a two die. Dude, I blitz on the Tomb Guardians. Going to be a knockdown in place. Uh, I'm going to have to take it. It's the best I can do. Uh, don't use Russell. And that'll be it. Not so trusty Patches says, had to take a quick sandwich bag to any elves die. <laughs> no, no elves died. Thankfully, the loony's not coming back onto the pitch. One player's coming back onto the pitch for uh, take the wood, take the bat, and of course it is a war dancer. 
Clevy says, I don't understand it at all. Why not push him and then try to grab the ball to score? Because um, I thought I had block. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I thought I had block, and then I'd knock him down, and then I would go grab the ball to score. Second quarter is going to begin. Womb Guardians down to one bribe. They have uh, Hack, who's still not on the pitch. They've kept Alba, uh, Alba bad on the pitch. He's a stab player. Uh, the loony has not been able to recover from his concussion. Hank the Ranger says 10v9. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. I, uh, I'm down two. And he's down one. He had two star players, so it's... 11 v 9, I think. Let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 v 9. All right. Well, now, um, why don't we move you back here and move you, I don't know, here maybe? And you can go here. Maybe do something like that. Um, let's see. If he's going to give the assist, that's one, two. I can get a one die on him. So let's do that. Let's go here. And then you can be here. You're going to have to be here or something. Um, you can be here. Probably do something like this, maybe this. Um, maybe this. Do something like that. We'll do something like that. Um, that'll give us five on the Tomb Guardian. Um, and I think we're okay with that. Let's go. All right, one to zero. Take the wood, take the bad. Currently in the lead. Womb Guardian's on the kick. They're going to get, there's that blitz. They're going to get the blitz. Shallow kick here. <laughs> Not so trusty patches. I called it. You did indeed. Blitz on the kickoff. Thank you for the bits. Looks like they're going to try to take the blitz here on Dil Galliel. They might just be marking him and they want to blitz somewhere else. Two die blitz on Guineal, the tw uh, number 12 lineman here. It's going to be a good knockdown.
Didn't break armor. I'm gonna try to pick this ball up. Clive says if he catches that. I mean, he might. It's a coin toss. <laughs> Oh, the onside kick for Womb Guardians, well done. <laughs> All right. All right, well, uh, let's make that a two-er. Let's make that a, gosh, I really want to blitz up here, but now I, I, I can't. I mean, I can, but I'm gonna have to make that a block. Um, Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and um, boy. Let's go here. Um, all right, let's go there. Let's go ahead and take this block. Do I block? Do I blitz rather? Um, Take the push, we'll uh, stay put. You can go, you can go here. Uh, we'll stay. So it's strip ball and effect. It went into the worst place. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Um, we'll go here. Could have set up for the block. Oh, no, I can't. Um, why don't we? Do that. That'll be our turn. SP Beaver says, I remember now why I don't like playing your elves. <laughs> Hank the Ranger says, the worst square possible, such as the will of Nuffle. Yes, indeed. Lots of blocks, unfortunately, for take the wood, take the bad. Uh, left on the table for Womb Guardians to take. Here's one of them. It's going to get a push out of this. Not so trusty Patches says, Nuffle be praised. SP Beaver says he needs to pick it up with the Guardian. <laughs> I mean, we've we've seen lizards ball uh, carry the ball before. Why not a Tomb Guardian? Gonna move forward. Failed stab. Stab Blitz on the War Dancer.
Two die block on Tazdor. The number seven, Elvin Lineman. It's going to be a push result. He's going to push him towards center pitch. Two die block, back of the line on poor old Femice. It's going to be a dodge. Oh, I'm sorry, it's going to be a push. Follow up. He's going to get another block here. Two die block, double skulls. Will he spend the TRR? He does. Gets a clean hit against Femice. Womb Guardian's down to one reroll for the rest of the game. Two die block, double pals again. This is against Telenor, the number five lineman. He's a level two lineman, has the Fen skill. Good stun. Twenty-five seconds left in the first turn of the half for Womb Guardians. Take the wood, take the bad. Took the ball away from Womb Guardians in their half. Womb Guardians looking to do the same here to take the wood, take the bad. Gonna move a player onto the ball with three seconds left. He's gonna try to pick it up. There's that cage. That'll be it. All right. Well, I think we're going to take this one die. Um, probably take this. Probably take this two die. Maybe we'll do this to start. Um, but do we want to stand these guys up first is the question. Um, do we want to stand these guys up first is the question. Let's. Take this two die block first. Two die block will get a push. Um, he's going to sidestep. All right, going to go straight back. Um, I'll stay put. And then you are now going to stand up. Uh, you're going to take, um, let's see, you'll come in one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll take this one die. Oh, we're going to spend the reroll on that. That'll work out. We'll wrestle. Uh, and then we'll probably take probably take this guy and move. Well, we'll move this guy. We'll. Hmm. 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 Um. Let's, let's let's do this instead. Let's go uh, here. Got the AV of seven. We'll go here. We'll take the blitz here instead. We're gonna take it on the cage. We'll take it here. Uh, this will be fine. Stay put. He's going to get stunned. That's good. Um, and then we will dodge him out. And then he will fall back down. <laughs> uh, 
All right, turn, Tevin, uh, turn 10 back to the Womb Guardians. Clive, he says, will they pick up the ball? <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> 11v8 on the pitch right now. Three-man player advantage for Womb Guardians. They move a Tomb Guardian in to the cage. Advances the number two Tomb Guardian forward. Going to try to pick off Giniel here, it looks like. Here it is, three die block. He's only going to get a push out of this. He'll push him probably back. No, well, he has a choice. I guess it does, I, you know, I guess it depends on his prerogative. Yeah, I, I would have pushed him back too. He could have pushed him back here if he says, you know what, I'm going to march the ball forward. I feel secure. Um, but this way he starts splitting up the team. Two die block over on the left side of the pitch is going to be a good knockdown on the number seven lineman, Tazdor. Oh, can you believe he picked that ball up? Oh, Nuffle, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> Here comes the blitz on poor Giniel. Three die blitz, it'll be a good knockdown. Good stun. Twenty seconds to go here for the Womb Guardians. They've got three of the four Tomb Guardians in on the cage. And that'll be it. Turn 11 back to take the take that. All right. So we're going to change up our tactics a little bit here. Um, we're going to go after you probably. So we'll do this. Um, and you will go here, probably. You'll go here. Um, we're gonna take this blitz first. Two die blitz against the blitzer. Two high blitz against the blitzer, this will be a good knockdown. Um, let's push him on the ball and see what happens. Uh, we'll see put. Boy, oh boy, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Um, problem is we have nobody standing to <laughs> hand the ball off to. <laughs> um, uh, I think we're okay with this. Um, I think we're okay with this. Now, what to do over here? Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go. Oh yeah, Clive is like you can't handle can't handle off anyway. You blitz, you big dummy dumb. That's very true. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. 
And let's go... Um... Let's stand you up. And uh, I'm probably okay with you being there. Probably okay with you being there. That'll be our turn. Turn 11, back to the Womb Guardians. Corner of the cage got uh, knocked down on the blitz. Push on the ball, ball got knocked out of the cage. Here's the jump up with the st blitz. Failed the stab. This is the opening game of the final open competition of the season, the Dungeon Bowl. Three open competitions a year, followed by an Invitational, the Blood Bowl, the big one, the big game, the big show. There will be uh, five weeks of round robin, six games a week, a whopping six games a week, after which the top two teams in each division in the Dungeon Bowl will advance to the Dungeon Bowl semifinals. The winner and the runner-up of this competition will earn an invitation to the Blood Bowl to face off against the likes of Clypheus and Nehide and Nuffle. Our reptile dysfunction, our Nick Satan's a reptile dysfunction and El Nuberino himself, his team, PPFC. All three have made it into the Blood Bowl. <laughs> SP Beaver says, one day stab will work. One day. <laughs> he keeps trying to stab the word answer, which I don't blame him for. I mean, if you can stab the word answer, that's great. But that's odds are against him on that particular stab. Thirteen seconds to go here for the Womb Guardians. Two die block way back at the line. It's going to be a good knockdown against Telenor. Telenor's KO'd. That's a four man player advantage for uh, Womb Guardians now on the pitch. Would you like to see a leap onto the ball? <laughs> uh. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do this. Let's go you here. Let's go you... <laughs> leap, for, <laughs> leap for your dreams. <laughs> I mean, that's that's sage advice. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of okay with this tie up here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this this two die here. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with this. Let's put you. Let's put you here. And let's follow up. All right, um, let's go ahead and take this two die block. Two die block's gonna be a clean hit against Ali Babad. He's gonna get the sidestep in either direction. Uh, we're gonna stay put. And then we are going to um, probably take this one die here. 
maybe take this one die here. Let's go ahead and take this one die here. Uh, that'll be fine. Let's push you... Let's push you here. We'll dodge you here. Take the two die here. Gonna push. Let's push you out here. And let's. Boy, do we want to follow up or not? That's the question. That's the question. Um, uh, I probably should have followed up there, but uh, that'll be all right. We can take this uh, uphill block, which is probably okay, honestly. Um, and I think I'm going to take it. Um, but do I do I want to dodge? No. I'm going to go ahead and take this two uh, this uphill. Take this uphill block. We'll get knocked down. That's, um... Fine. Oh, he got KO'd. He got KO'd! Five-man player advantage! Five-man player advantage now for Guardians. Final turn of the third quarter. SP Beaver says, that's fine. I, I mean, if I could have knocked him down, that's fine. And if I get KO'd, he's safe. Three die block on uh, Dil Galliel. This will be a good knockdown. Another KO. Is that a six man player advantage at this point? Is that a six man player advantage? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> five man player. Uh, no, it, yeah, five man player advantage. Three die blitz. Oh, got the clean hit. On the War Dancer, let's see if he can break armor and cause some damage. Wow, that was aggressive and mean and rude. Blitz spent trying to take out that War Dancer. SP Beaver said no stub blitz. I mean, that three die blitz had better odds than the than the stab blitz did. Two die block way back at center pitch. This is going to be a good knockdown on Famice. He's going to get stunned. Good follow up. Banked on that stun. Got it. <laughs> SP Beaver said odds have nothing to do with it, it's about principle. <laughs> Two die block, another good knockdown here. Looking to get the six man player advantage. Wait, he has a six man player advantage. He has a six, six man player advantage now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, he's got a six man player advantage. Good stab on the, or good block on the thrower. Oh, good stun, too. 50-50 ball pickup. Failed the pickup. Does he spend the TRR? I doubt it. <laughs> nope. 
just four turns remaining in this game. Take the win, take the bad. Has a one point lead at the moment, but man, they do not have a lot of players left on the pitch. Just six players left on the pitch. Two are stunned. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, uh, we can take that one die. It's probably not worth it. We can take this one die. It's probably more worth it. Um, one die stab into a dodge. Boy, probably want to take the dodge first then. Um, this guy... Needs to get out of town, but these are all risky. This guy can come down here. What a jerk face. What a jerk face he is. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's do this to the blitz. Um, we'll take this one die blitz here. Can you believe it? <laughs> There's the skull. There's the skull. And he gets stunned. SP Beer says another chance to leap for it. Yes, to leap for the ball and then never live again. <laughs> another good stun. Two players stunned right now. SP Beaver said, STEM worked! It worked! Everybody, we got it! We did it! <laughs> it's going to mark the number 11 lineman. Looks like he's setting up for the blitz over here on the left side. Here it comes, three die blitz. It's gonna get a good knockdown. Good blitz, didn't break armor. Blitz has now been spent. Going to reset the cage here on the 10 yard line. Hank <laughs> the Ranger says, What wonderful people those coaches from Group A are. <laughs> here comes the ball pickup 50 50 pickup. Second guessing the pickup? No. Failed the pickup. Is he going to spend the TRR here? He decides to. He's going to make this a 75% pickup. Good pickup. He's, he's thinking about scoring at this point. Gonna move the ball carrier forward. 10 seconds to go. He's gonna try to get some protection on this ball carrier. All right, well, I mean. That'll be it. I mean, um, well, you need to stand up. Wow. 
one, two, one, two, three. You go right here. I mean, um, watch this dodge double GFIs. Watch this, baby. Pop ow, pop ow. As Marky Mark would say. Oh, can I get? Oh, I'm, I'm down on the ground. I'm down on the ground, Marky Mark. Uh, this has better odds. We'll do this first. We're going to do our blitz here. One die blitz. Both down result. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Man, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's two GFIs a score, right? No, it's no GFIs a score. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he's got it. He's got it here. He's just got to clear up one tackle zone. Easy peasy. Might even think about delaying here. There's no way he's gonna pull out a victory. Uh, he might just wait until turn 15 or even turn 16 at this point. He's got so many players. Three die blitz. It's gonna work out. Clean hit on the number 11 lineman, Gith Don. Hank the Ranger says, but he would give you an entire two turns of score if he scored now. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Speed Beaver says, he has another three players over here. Wait, correction. Uh, make that two players. Ah, oh, the poor elves. The poor, poor elves. I think instead of trying to get, go in hard, he, well, really, he shouldn't have caught that ball. That's really what this comes down to, frankly. <laughs> he shouldn't have caught that ball. <laughs> but after that, I should have, I, I think I probably should have pulled back um, and then just let him try to plod down the pitch. SP Beaver says, time to leap and strip ball. Baby, you know how we do. We play to win. We play to win. Here comes the foul on poor Rill Kadath. He's going to try to get a couple of extra assists here to make it worth, make it worth his while. Here it comes. Get called off. Get called off for being a cheater. For being a dirty cheater. Three assists now. Doesn't get caught off, doesn't break armor. How dare you? How dare you? Doesn't move the ball carrier. Interesting. All right. Well. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the GFI. Um. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling about a little about a little leap blitz? One. We could stand up. We could go one. It's a big old dodge though. We go one, two, three, four, five. Or let's see, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we could leap here. You're gonna stand up. 
you're going to... Uh, I don't think we have enough players to stop the score if he wants to score. So you're going to go here. All right, buddy. Earn your keep. No, 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 no. What? Oh, man. Ah. Man, how many times have I messed up standing this guy up? Boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, I wanted that blitz. I wanted that blitz. Ah, uh, that is, that is frustration nation. Take this block here, we'll get a good knockdown. Let's put you here. Oh, man. Sorry, Tazdor, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, pal. <laughs> Three die block. He's going to get uh, pushed and blocked again. SPC, SP Beaver says, just put him in the cage. It's like, let's see how the blitz next turn. Perfect. <laughs> Foolproof. <laughs> Finally, got the stab off. Ooh, what's the injury? Really? What kind of apothecary turns a gouged eye into a death? That apothecary is getting fired. Fired! <laughs> It didn't even know. It didn't even know. <laughs> got it. That's his name. You got it. Tastor is stunned. He's going to be stunned for the rest of the game. He's going to be. He's going to get fouled. Poor fella. And there's the score. It's all tied up one to one. Let's get a riot up in here. It's pretty good, Michael Jackson. Hank the Ranger says, good, murderous TD. It was indeed. Ah, oh, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> Oh, no, he's coming back. I think I'm the only one with a turn left, though, unless there's a riot, which I need. No. <laughs> nobody? Odds are two. I get nobody. <laughs> oh, no, he's still got a turn left. Ooh, gross. I think the Rangers and the Elves are like, nope, I'm really hurt. I'm not going back out there. Maybe they're not hurt. Maybe they're just like, nope, I'm not going back out there. Let's um, do that.
You two, <laughs> you two are the, uh, the beneficiaries. <laughs> you guys, you guys get to hang out back here. How's that? How's that feel? Uh, all right. There we go. That's my team. <laughs> Perfect defense. The Womb Guardians get to reset their defense. I think it's probably fine. We'll see if they want to. But that's going to do it. The game's going to end in a 1-1 draw. Well done to El Nuberino. I hate you. <laughs> oh, man. The clutch. The clutch. Onside kick catch. Oh, that's just rude. Rude. All right, three blocks to take and that and a foul, and that will be the game. Uh, oh, no, it's my turn. So <laughs> maybe we make that not three blocks and a foul. Uh, let's... Let's, um... Put you here. Put you here. And then let's, uh, let's do this. Do a quick pass. Excellent. Let's uh, run far away. And <laughs> that'll be our turn. Clypheus, <laughs> well, thank you for the bits. <laughs> He's got a, a six movement. He can get one, two, three, four, five, six. He can get the blitz off here on the GFI. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a failed blitz. Well done. The game's gonna end in a draw. <laughs> hack is injured. Now Hack is injured. <laughs> uh, Hank the Ranger, thank you for that. I caught that. Thank you. I appreciate it. And that's the game. 1-1 one one will be the end of the first game of the Dungeon Bowl. It'll end in a draw. Congratulations to El Nuberino for his draw here with his Camry team. I got a 1. Of course I got a 1. <laughs> <laughs> Not so trusty Bastion said, did you get the SPP? I did in fact get the SPP. Um, oh, oh, for the for the injury? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Gideon got the MVP as well. He got the SPP on the throw. He picked up the five, he leveled up. You know, we'll take that as a victory. That's cool. <laughs> That's it, 26 armor breaks for the Womb Guardians. Eight for take the wood, take the bad. Not a lot of ball possession for either teams here in this uh, in this first game of the competition. Nine SPP for Take the Wood, Take the Bad. Ten for the Womb Guardians. Pretty pretty uh, standard pickup for, for bashy teams, these, these elves, man. They did not, did not pull their weight. <laughs> so that will do it for the first game tonight of this double header. We've got another one coming right up. And that will be a minor matter. That's Artificial Bunny and his Underworld Denizen team at Jingles All The Way. That is the Dungeon Bowl champion Venger and his orc team. That is coming up in just a few minutes. What <laughs> Jedi George said, awesome game for the ground. Hey, uh, GG's man, that was super fun. Sorry I didn't have Discord set up. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, that was a good game. Um, but yeah, uh, what we'll do is we'll close out this stream. Uh, we'll, we'll actually shut the stream down afterwards for like five minutes. We'll kick it back up with like a five minute start countdown and then we'll get this second game tonight underway. Again, it's the current Dungeon Bowl champion, Venger versus Artificial Bunny. Uh, I'm excited for this one. This is a brand new orc team versus an underworld team that's got some 
that's got some TV behind it. So I'm excited to see how this uh, how this plays out. A minor matter has been in this season all, or he's been in the season for all three competitions. So he's got a lot of SPP. Underworld needs that. I'm excited to see where it goes. So we'll see you back here in uh, just a few minutes for this second game tonight as we get the Dungeon Bowl underway. Welcome back to Blood Bowl, everybody.